Hello, welcome to this pronunciation video. This is Twisty Soundy Sounds YouTube channel, a window to the English pronunciation and phonetics subject. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate for you the pronunciation of these words. Here they are consensus, connive, connoisseur, consequence or consequence. Consecrate, the second list, cumbersome, cuisine, cal de sac. Let's go back to the first word, it's a noun, consensus. Consensus is a three syllable noun, and this noun means agreement. That's the meaning of this word. The second syllable, san, should have this stress. We say a consensus. A consensus. And we go back, or we go ahead to the second word. The second word is knive. It's a verb. Knive is a double syllable word, a two syllable word. That's a disyllabic verb. Knive. The second syllable knife should have the stress. And to knive is to work together with someone to do something. That's it, to knive. I repeat, consensus, three syllable noun. Stress on the second syllable, san, knive, disyllabic verb, stress on the second syllable, knife, consensus, knive. The third word is connoisseur, connoisseur is a, a three syllable word, connoisseur. The last syllable, sir, should have the stress, that's the primary and main stressed syllable. The second stressed syllable is the first syllable, con. We say a connoisseur, a connoisseur, that's a noun, and it means someone or a person who knows a lot about a particular subject. That's a connoisseur. Let's repeat, consensus, connive, connoisseur. The fourth word is pronounced in two ways. The British pronunciation is a consequence. Can sequence three syllable noun. The stress on the second syllable con a consequence. The US pronunciation, the American pronunciation is the following. We say consequence, quen sequence, consequence, also three syllable word, stress on the first syllable quen. I repeat consequence or consequence, which means the result. The last word, the first list is a consecrate. It's a verb, consecrate. It's also a three syllable word, a three syllable verb. That's a trisyllabic word. Stress on the first syllable, can. We say to consecrate. Consecrate. And to consecrate is a, to devote your life or to bless something. That's to consecrate. I repeat. The five first words of the first list, consensus, connive, connoisseur, consequence, consequence, and consecrate. The second list, the first word is cumbersome, cumbersome, it's an adjective, and this adjective contains so far three syllables, cumbersome, cumbersome, which means too complicated, too complex. That's cumbersome. Stress on the first syllable, cam. We say cumbersome. The second word of the second list is cuisine. Cuisine is a disyllabic word. It's a noun, which means a style of cooking. The stress on the second syllable, zine. We say cuisine. And the last word is cal de sac. Cal de sac, specific word. It means a small sweet, open only at the end or a suite that is uh, close it at one end, it's called cul-de-sac. It's a three-syllable noun, cul-de-sac. Stress on the first syllable, cal, cul-de-sac, cul-de-sac. Now let's practice. Consensus, connive, connoisseur, consequence, consequence, consecrate, cumbersome, cuisine, cul-de-sac. Again, from the end, cul-de-sac, Cuisine, cumbersome, consecrate, 
consequence, consequence, connoisseur, connive, consensus. Your support is greatly appreciated, so please don't forget to give a like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.